let's pair our silhouette portrait to our computer with Bluetooth. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to my craft room. My name is Kelsey. I also call myself Dinosaur Mama. And today we are not cricketing, but we are using our silhouette portrait. So a while ago, like four months ago, I made a video of my unboxing of my silhouette, and then I pretty much put her back in the box and didn't touch her again. But all of that changes today because we are going to start using our silhouette portrait and doing more tutorials in Silhouette Studio. But today we are just doing a simple tutorial where we're going to pair our portrait with Bluetooth over to our computer. I just wanna start by saying I do have a MacBook Air and so my Bluetooth is in my computer already. I know that sounds kind of silly in 2023, but there are computers that don't have Bluetooth capabilities. And so you can buy an external Bluetooth extension for your USB but you also have to keep in mind that your computer needs to be able to pair at a certain quality. And I will leave the link below to the Bluetooth connectivity page via Silhouette. And that'll show you if you're even able to connect your, your machine, your Silhouette machine via Bluetooth. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by checking to make sure my portrait is connected via Bluetooth. You're gonna wanna press the button on your portrait and then up top in the corner, you'll also see the Bluetooth button on your device. I have this turned on all the time and I saw that my portrait was connected via Bluetooth. This doesn't mean it's already ready to go. There is one more step after this. So I just went ahead and grabbed a circle. You really don't have to do this. I just wanted to have a shape so that when I went to go connect, I could test this out to make sure that it was working properly. I made a really big circle, but then I deleted it. So I made a really small circle. Again, this is just gonna be a test cut on some paper. And then I'm going to go over to send. So now in the bottom, you see it says unavailable and we need to change that. We need, can't even test anything out. You can't send it, you can't test, it's not connected. And the first time that I set up my silhouette, I did everything via USB. So this is my first time setting up my Bluetooth as well. So I'm just changing this to cardstock. I'm changing it to the auto blade, but you see it still says unavailable. So even though it says it's connected via Bluetooth, it's actually not. You still need to set it up through the silhouette software. And so down below, there is a little mini portrait right below where my, my um, arrow is right now, my little pointer head. There's a little portrait and it has the number two under it. So I'm double checking to make sure it's connected. I am clicking it. And now I'm gonna go down below to where that two is and I'm gonna click on that. And so now you have two options and one's a USB, one's a Bluetooth. I'm clicking that Bluetooth and it says available. Now the first time that I did hit this, it still didn't connect, but I um, went back and did it one more time and it did go through. So it's connecting now. Um, so give it some time, be patient, and this is how it will connect via Bluetooth. Now, since I did this, it's connected automatically and I haven't had to reconnect it. So there really hasn't been a ton of troubleshooting in that area, but you do wanna make sure that the Bluetooth button is on on your actual portrait. So my portrait has a little Bluetooth button, the light turns blue when you press it on and you can turn it on and off. So it's not just automatically on like your Cricut would be. So you see it went to unavailable again. And I was like, why is it doing this? So all I did was I went back to the little two again and clicked on it. And this time when I clicked on it, it said load media. So it did pop up, it took a second. Just go between your Bluetooth panel on your computer and then this panel down below. The Bluetooth connectivity page on the Silhouette side is not super detailed, I would say. So I still had to like figure this out on my own, even though they have a Bluetooth page, it just kind of says like, this is the basics, like what you can and cannot connect. So now it said load media. And so all I did was set up my mat. I put a piece of paper on it. I just did a regular cardstock. I didn't even use glitter cardstock, just plain cardstock. Oh, it doesn't say glitter cardstock, <laughs> it says plain. And then it says ready. So I loaded it into my machine and then I hit send and it cut super, super fast. So I was very impressed with this. Um, and once I had it connected, like I said, it stayed connected. So each time I'm using it, I don't have to reconnect. And so we'll see if that remains true as I use my machine more. It is really close to my desk, so I'll probably utilize it for a lot of like quick projects. But yeah, it connected super fast. And I don't know if it's because my computer's close to it, if that keep, makes a difference, but 
That is how you connect your silhouette via Bluetooth to your MacBook. Thank you so much for joining me today as we Bluetooth paired our silhouette to our computer. I hope this tutorial helped you, and if it did, please don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. If you have any other questions about connecting, don't forget you can always leave me a question in the comments below. If you learned something today from this tutorial or you wanna to continue to learn different things with your silhouette, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I promise I'll be making more silhouette tutorials. And if you know someone with a silhouette, please don't forget to share this video so they can follow along on my silhouette journey. Stay crafty.